Hey brothers and sisters, this is Elizabeth Marie with Lotta Rain 333. Today I have a message I would like to read to you. I received it on October 24th, 2023. So let's get right into it. This is what I heard while I was praying. The days are coming when there will be a famine for the word of God. For those who treasure it, then hide it now in your hearts. So it will be with you always. I am in the word and the word is in me. We are one. We are inseparable. Soon it will be illegal to have a Bible and most will be most Bibles will be burned or destroyed. However, I will still reign supreme in my people's hearts for nothing, no principalities, no evil or darkness can snatch that away. We are bound together with an invisible cord that even Satan cannot touch. I will never abandon my children and will be there with them even during the most darkest of times. I will give them hope and will encourage their hearts if they so allow. My great spirit will comfort their hearts and bring peace out of chaos and confusion. In the spirit realm, things are also raging, for the forces of evil have come against the holy angels. The battle is fierce, but the victory is ours. Claim that victory over and over again, for it comes through faith. Do not be discouraged, little ones, but instead rejoice, for the Father of lights is good and will bring you safely into his arms. Look up to the clouds, for this is where I will be coming from for my bride. Be looking, be ready, make yourself ready, pure in heart. The call goes out to the bride that the bridegroom comes. Have the oil of readiness in your lamps at all times so that you will not be caught off guard with no oil. For there will be many that will miss the day of my coming because they were doing their own thing and not serving me as Lord and King. They will not make it to the banquet hall, but will be locked out. So examine your life, examine your ways, and change and repent of all that is not from me. Do not squander your time any longer. But make each moment count for me. And then it was signed, the Savior of the world, for all those who will believe Jesus the Christ. And then I waited and I heard this. Come to me, all who are heavy laden and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, for it is light. Let me comfort you and hide you under the shadow of my wings. I will be your shelter. I will be your stronghold. I will be your fortress. Come now and do not delay. And that was the end of the message, brothers and sisters. So in this message, the two main themes was one, that the, about what's going to happen with the Word of God. And the Lord Jesus is asking for us to, to study the Word, but not only study it, but memorize it so it's near and dear with us at all times, no matter what. And the second thing is that He is coming soon, and He's wanting His bride to get ready and to have their oil lamps ready. Now you can read about that in Matthew 24, I'm excuse me, Matthew 25, it talks about the 10 virgins, 10 who were five who were ready and five who were not. And so the ones who were ready were allowed to come into the supper um, and of the lamb and the other five were locked out. So don't be the last five. Be the be the five brides that are ready. And we do that through staying close to the Lord, through repentance, through having faith, for, for having a pure heart, being humble, and clean hands. All right, I will have uh, quite a few scriptures that relate to this prophecy, and it will be 
in my blog and the link for that is down below and I want to end now with Amos 8 verses 11 through 12 brothers and sisters let me read this to you about the famine that's coming here's what it says behold the days are coming says the Lord that I will send a famine on the land not a famine of bread nor thirst for water but of hearing the words of the Lord they shall wander from sea to sea, from north to east. They shall run to and fro, seeking the word of the Lord, but shall not find it.